Hi Floss Tube, it is Helen. Um, welcome back. It is a hot day. I'm glowing, I can tell. Um, it is Tuesday, August 7th. Um, I wasn't intending on doing a video today. Uh, it's today or like when school starts. So I thought, well, I have a half hour. Let's gather all my stuff up. It's not even out of its bags. I'm not nearly as prepared as I usually am. So we'll just go through things. Um, I opened a window up for you guys so that we could get a little light. Um, it's been really, you can see the window right on my eyeball. No, no matter where I go, it's gonna be there. Um, we've had a really humid couple of weeks. So I brought my fan, <laughs> my classy fan. Um, we don't have air conditioning. We have a air conditioner that we finally, I asked my husband to pull up Sunday night because yesterday and today were supposed to be like, you know, 90 degrees, but it will feel like 100. And with no air conditioning, it just gets so hot in the house. Because after, you know, anyone with this humid weather, you know, after a while, you can't get the humidity out. Um, so we open up at night and then in the morning, we close everything down like a cave. Um, so we just turned it on upstairs. My son is upstairs. He'll probably forget that I told him I was making a video and yell down about how awesome this game is. So that could happen. <laughs> Be ready for that. Um, Christmas, uh, not Christmas. This is my day. This, this is it. Um, summer has been crazy. It's been flying by. We've been busy. Um, we've had weeks when we've done nothing at all. This next week, my uh, mother-in-law and my sister-in-law are both coming into town, so we'll be doing fun things with them. Um, then I think we have a couple more weeks before school starts. We start here right after Labor Day, so we'll have a little more time. We don't have anything major planned, just some regular appointments and all that at that point. I've been stitching. I just haven't really done a video. I'm still way behind on floss tubes, so I haven't commented on as many of as I've been watching because I've been trying to catch up. Um, my husband's been using the TV at night, so I've been watching on the phone and it's, you know, I haven't commented. So as with all of us, stitching and floss tube in the summer can be a little crazy. Um, I have seen a couple of my stitchy friends this summer, so that's been nice. Um, a few weeks ago at this point, uh, my friend Penny, who has a group that meets in Monmouth that I've been able to get up to a couple times, um, her daughter and her granddaughters are down in my area. So she messaged and said, hey, are you guys, are you around? Because I'm going to be in your, you know, in your, in your town today. So she just popped in, you know, 20, 30 minutes um, with her granddaughters. They played with my son. And that was nice because she got to tell me... Um, she went to StitchCon, so I got to hear firsthand all the fun things at StitchCon. Um, she said she met Steph and told Steph she knew me, and Steph was like, mm-hmm. Um, so Penny said, you tell Steph that you know me. So I do. I know Penny. She's fabulous. Um, so that was fun. And then I went down to um, Kennebunk, which is about, it's about an hour from me. Um, that's where Camp Wool is, and I hadn't been and they were doing um, an open sew Saturday where you come in and you pay like a $5 donation um, and stitch for the day. Um, that store is so cool. My friend Beth from Instagram met me there. Um, she's in New Hampshire, so it was kind of, I think she probably ended up driving a little further than I did, um, but it was kind of halfway, and that is such a cool store. It had all the things. It had cross stitch, it had fabric, um, punch needle for days. Um, a couple other women were doing punch needle and Beth started a punch needle project while she was there. I've been trying to take a class down there since my birthday in February um, with another friend, a different friend from New Hampshire and we just can't get our schedules to match up. So I have and I have all my punch needle stuff. I just haven't started one because I wanted to take this class. Um, but Beth may have inspired me and I might just just try one. I get Punch Needle and Primitive Stitch Magazine, so I, I have all the stuff. I just need to figure it out. So when school starts, that might be one of the many, many things on my to-do to -do list. Um, so that was nice. I met some more stitchers down there, um, saw all their projects, and someone was rug hooking, someone else was punch needle, a couple women were cross stitching, um, 
felt though? Where you sew the felt pieces on. There's a name for that. I can't think of it. They were doing that. People were doing everything. Um, so that was really fun. So like I said, I brought my stuff down. I don't remember what I showed you, where I was at, what's in what bag over here. It's just a pile, pile of stuff. And we'll go through it and see what we can get to. Um, the top thing is my one FFO, which again, might have been an FO last time I showed you. We're pretty close. This is Samurai. It's by Firewing Designs. It's pretty long, so. Um, this is for my son. He's big in dragon. He picked out the floss. This is Threadworks Mosaic. I call him the stripey dragon. A little stripey for my taste, but he's not in my room, so he's thrilled. Um, so he's all done and on the wall. I pulled him off. Um, that's his second. That's his second drag. There's another one in these bags. <laughs> so, all right, after that we have, probably the rest of this bag will be um, just whips and new starts. I have had some new starts. Um, I thought I had grabbed the Prairie School of July because I know I was working on that and I don't think I had finished it and I've now finished it but I can't FFO it because sewing is not happening. So any intentions I had of a summer dough bowl, out the window, out the closed humidity, keeping out her window. So maybe next summer. <laughs> I'll have stuff ready by next summer. So that one is done. Um, new start, I got on board with the, let's see if I have an actual picture, the Barbara Anna Black Cat Hollow. Out. It's with lollipop stitches and crafting between stitches. Unfortunately, I didn't print out the one that had the whole picture, but I can show you because part one, part one is done. This is on a fabrics by LJ, like a purple. Nothing's ironed either, folks, in these bags. We're pulling them out. So this is part one. And it's really cute and I subbed a lot of my flosses. Um, it's three parts. I have the second part. The third part is now, now out. Um, I might be done at this. You know how sometimes when you have a piece you're working on and while you're working on it, something happens in your life, but you're working on that piece so it kind of gets tied to that piece. Um, that's what happened with this piece. So I kind of lost all interest in keeping going on it. So we'll see, I'm gonna wait. I mean, Halloween's not anytime soon. Um, so that might be it. That might be a part one and done and I finish it up and go from there. Or as we get closer, I might decide that I do wanna do parts two and three. We'll see. I love doing part one. Um, okay, next on the top of the pile, this is a new start from just a couple days ago. This one's coming together quick. This is Country Cottage Needleworks. Everything, everything's out of focus today. Um, this is Pie Menu. And this, I'm hoping, will fit on my watermelon boot stand because it's skinny. I did it on an 18 and it's in the Q-snap and it's the one I'm working at, so I'm not going to pull it out. Um, it's on an 18 so that it would be like skinny and long and if my dimensions are right then this will fit that's the intention is to put that in there for the fall so I did the bottom I'm up to peach I'm almost done peach pe peach -er. um, and then I have that top part to do so this one's coming really quick which is great I was in the mood for fall and Halloween, so I caught up on a few things and then I need a prettier fan than this. Although this is a gorgeous card, I need a fancy fan. Um, I just pulled out all my fall and my Halloween and I said, okay, what in the perfect world could I get done this year to display this year? So I thought, well, that one is pretty quick. 
that will work up quick. I had another piece um, for that little frame I showed last time that I got at Joann's that's shaped like a pumpkin. I needed um, a couple flosses or a piece of fabric. An order has been made, so when that gets here, um, I'll be able to do that one, and that should be pretty quick. And then I have a couple Halloween ones that one's just a finish, and the other one is pretty small. So I thought I can try and bust those out in August while I have some time. Okay, next up, next bag is um, Guardians of Notre Dame. Turning it around right side up, not that it matters, it's a circle. So this one I'm caught up on for this month. Can't see where it's at. Um, which guy? This pink guy. What is this one? And I guess he's eating something else. So that's why he's kind of got something in his mouth. Um, I still love this one. This is on the Banshee fabric from Hand Eye by Stephanie. Um, fantastic. So I'm still loving this one. This was still on the Q-Snap. I might not have even finished July last time I showed it to you. I probably hadn't even started it. July and August are done, so that one's caught up. Um, so that was on the Q-Snap, so that one got done first. And then the other cell is the Frosted Pumpkin. I started this one last night. So that's this month right here, and I the picture I have um, is just the pattern, but it's a chameleon. I will have to change his coloring a little because he's the one color of green that doesn't show on this crazy fabric, but I'll make him the same color as this frog, so he should be okay. This piece, I believe, is all the borders and stuff are done, so I really just need to do the little squares, so they don't take that long. I mean, this one's a little bigger. Um, so I'm working on that and then get that one done and then I'll be caught up for the month, which is good. I have a lot of bags. Okay, this is my um, new purchase, new start, frog out, wait to restart. That's what this one is. <laughs> and this is, so oh good, it's not too bad. This is another Firewing Designs. This is Heliotrope. So this one will be on the opposite side of his wall, though, kind of in my symmetricalness. Um, he has a long skinny one in the middle that I made into the world's worst wall hanging um, that someday I will redo. So that one's kind of big in the middle, and then Samurai will be on one side looking this way, and he'll be on the other side looking the other way. So this one, my son picked out the fabric and everything, so we picked out this fabric, which is one of my all-time favorites. And it's apparently upside down because my my misty needle winder is upside down. Um, this is sea glass from Hand Eye by Stephanie. This is a sixteen Ada. I love this green, <laughs> but he did too. And since I love him, I thought he can have it. I can always order more. Um, we started with this color fabric, but it was a Victorian motto, and it just wasn't stripy enough, as much as I don't like the stripiness. Um, so I pulled it out, and then we've ordered a Threadworks um, berry something. It's like a, a raspberry-ish purple and a bright blue. So fingers crossed, that will look okay on this fabric, because he still wants it on this fabric. And when he sees that one, that will come back out. Until then, I'm just busting out all the other things I have so I can try and catch up. Um, all right, next, and I only have one bag left, so that's good. I have also done um, two little pieces for swamps that I couldn't show you. So those are stitched, but not finished. My to-be-finished stack is growing. Um, when school's back, and I'm trying to get that out of my eyeball. When school's back in session, I will have to pull the sewing machine out and really catch up on some things. Um, when we were at Camp World, they sold crushed walnuts. So I bought a little, little bag of that to try too. Um, yeah, so this bag, we'll talk about it in a minute. 
I had a, a really nice gift I wanted to mention that I think was I think was in the mailbox right when we got back from our trip or maybe like within that week um, came with this excellent card slash sweaty Helen fan um, it was from Cindy of Cindy's cross stitch and she sent me um, the 2017 Santa, which I did not have, but then she made me this beautiful um, little patriotic, and it's so cute. I think the 1776 on there are over one. Um, oh, I need to really focus today. I love the finishing. I think I've seen some of these. They're just like a little gift tag. Um, like at Michael's and it's just on there and then the little red, white, and blue. So it's so sweet. So it's been up with my um, patriotic stuff, which is on that side of the wall. Um, so Cindy, thank you so much for thinking of me. That's so sweet. Um, every time Cindy shows her garden, I get so jealous. It's so pretty. Everything's doing well. Her sunflowers are taller than she is, almost taller than the house. Um, I think I mentioned I think I've done a video since we've been back. <laughs> I don't even know. Our garden got eaten. Um, we had four baby groundhogs that got in there. We fenced it out, but it, they got in there, um, destroyed everything but the onions. <laughs> they have since been rehomed. Um, stuff is coming back, which I'm surprised because it got really down there, but cucumbers are coming back. Tomatoes are coming back. Some of the carrots are starting to come out. I just don't know if our growing season is long enough that we'll actually have time to enjoy anything. By the time they're ready, we'll probably have like time for frost. Um, but it was a it was an experiment. So next year we need like to raise it a little and put the fencing on if we decide to do it again. So Cindy, thank you so much. Um, I hope you're enjoying all the bounty of your gorgeous garden. Um, and I love my little patriotic tag. Like I said, it's been with my other things. Um, so my last bag, this is the bag I made for um, the Tis the Season sale. So that is coming right up. That's Labor Day weekend. I think we're planning on um, the Saturday, which I don't know what day it is because my phone's up there. Um, Lynette, Homesteading on the home front, had made a Facebook page. She's She's doing all the work. <laughs> it's great. Um, she's doing a great job. When Lynette and Misty and I, we were all really interested in this pattern months ago, and we said, oh, we should do a sal. We had no idea that 500 other people would want to do it with us. So fantastic. And now that we're getting closer and people have um, their Victoria model threads or whatever threads they're using, and they're starting to show stuff off, like it's feeling like it's real. So I'm excited. I thought my stuff was a little better organized in here, but it's not. So this is the, you've all seen it by now, I'm sure. It's the Cardinal. Um, Blackbird Designs. It's in the Home for the Holidays book. So I originally was going to use a piece. I've already put it back. It was Storm. Picture this plus Storm. Um, it was a nice gray that was dark enough that the white would show. The wh white is like my nemesis. Everything I love is wintry and it has white in it and it never will show. So that's what I was planning on using, but the piece, I bought it at that store in Florida when I was down there over the spring. It was a 14 count. Um, it was going to be really big. So I thought, well, if I, I can't order it in a 16. One, two, three doesn't have it in a 16. Couldn't find it in a 16 other than through Picture This Plus, which just would take so long that it's not worth it. So I looked through my stash and I had just the right size, a little piece of Picture This Plus Dwarf. Um, this, this apparently is my color of choice for all things winter. This particular piece, is what I cut off of an 18 by 26 piece when I did Frosty Forest. So I know white looks great on here because I did Frosty Forest on here. And it's just the right size. So that's what I'm planning on using. So it will be a small piece, but that's okay. 
Um, I'm not using Nancy's pack that she did because I had a lot of other Nancy colors and they're in floss bags so they're not really going to show. I had a lot of other floss from her that I thought I could just make it work. And then the color I chose for my Cardinal is Gentle Art Cranberry. So this one is pretty variegated and I like the way that looked. So that will be what I use. I have 10 yards. <laughs> I had posted on my Instagram, um, this was the only thing I needed at the time that I ordered it. So I found someone on eBay that was selling floss and she, you know, she had a whole bunch, um, multiple skeins of each. So I ordered this, uh, with two skeins and I didn't bring the other one down. Completely different colors. This is the one I need. The other one was very, very, very dark. <laughs> like someone had said, I had ripened cranberry and unripened cranberry. Um, but then when I looked at them, luckily it was a 10 yard skein, not a five yard skein. So I should have enough. I have 10 yards and I had a partial skein. And these two will be fine together. So I just don't know how many that bird's gonna take and I wanted to make sure I was good. So that's, that's mine, tis the season. Um, I'm really excited to get started. So I'm trying to get some other things kind of caught up before we get there because I know I'll want to focus on that one and I'll still have my monthlies to do. So we'll see. All right, that's the end of my bags. Um, I feel very unorganized today. I have more Halloween and fall stuff pulled out, like I said, um, ready to go. Hopefully started before I see you again, which honestly will be one school session at this point. So let's see, I have two little folders here. So the office in our room is the extra bedroom. We have a three bedroom house, we use two of the bedrooms. So the third one is the office with a twin size bed. And then I took over that closet and put all shelving in and that's my craft space. And then there's a little dresser in there and that's my catch all. So when I get stuff in and I want to make sure I show it on a video, I throw it in there. Um, so everything's kind of in there. And then this weekend we were cleaning, we were doing some mother-in-law cleaning. You all know what mother-in-law cleaning entails. So I had to empty everything out of this dresser cause she's going to need it. So I pulled everything out and I put it in a bag and I shoved the bag in my regular closet. Um, and then I'm like, oh, I have time today to make a video, but all my stuff is in a bag, <laughs> shoved in a bag. I found most of it. There's a couple things that maybe they're in here and they'll just show up, but I didn't see them when I was pulling stuff together. So they'll show up. Um, so this will be um, purchases. Purchases and an awesome thrift, thrift store pattern score. Um, so I did pick up the Just Cross Stitch, which I know um, Danielle did a flip through of. Um, I'm interested in the Little Frosted Pumpkin one. That's probably the main one everyone will, will be wanting to do. I also actually, I really love this one. It's, it would be a lot of work. It would be a lot of work, um, but I really love the colors of it. So maybe someday, not this year, but maybe someday. So I have that. Um, on Stash Unload, someone was selling their set of um, the Boo Club, the whole set. Great price, so I have all those. I have the perfect fabric for this already, so that won't get started this year, but maybe next year. Um, I had picked up, none of this is out of packages. Country Cottage, Every Heart. You guys have seen this, it's one of their newer ones. And when I ordered, when I ordered that Firewind Designs, um, she has a bunch that are available on 123 and other places. But on her Etsy store, if you go to her regular website, she has some extra dragons, bonus dragons, that if you email her, she will put them on the Etsy store for you to buy. 
So that's where I got Heliotrope. And then I also picked up this one, which is called Maritime. And it's in super plastic. Um, it has both designs. So I thought eventually, these are a little smaller than the other dragons, I could do one for each side, keeping up with my symmetry. Uh, and then Misty had done this piece and it's so pretty. Um, so I've been on the lookout for this book and then I finally found it. It's available again right now. I think they printed some more. So I picked that up and with that came Wiki Kate Beach. Um, so that's purchases. I think some of these I had actually bought before my last video. They just didn't make it downstairs when I did the video. Um, there goes my list, so I hope that's it. The other thing, this other folder, it's a big folder. So when I was at Camp Wool, there was a bunch of other stitchers there, like I said, and one of them was from my area. And she said, oh, I saw some um, Shepherd's Bush patterns in the Goodwill. I'm like, oh, okay, I'll go check it out. And that was on a Saturday and my mom had my son. So my husband and I were, we went out on Saturday night and I didn't make it. And then we were busy Sunday and I didn't make it. So then like Monday or Tuesday, a few days later, I dragged him over there um, on the pretense of looking at board games and such. They had all the patterns. <laughs> and he, he was not impressed. You're taking forever. I'm like, okay, we've been in here maybe 10 minutes. I'm not leaving any of these patterns behind. So just simmer down. I said, how long do I stand? by the Nintendo area when we go to Target and you want to try out the demos on the games. And then he was a little more patient. So, total score, bunches of patterns. Some of these are not for me, some of these are for you guys. Um, probably won't be able to start giveaways yet because getting to the post office is not good right now. But, like I said, I didn't want to leave anything behind. So I got bunches, and I won't show them all, um, there were a couple of with the needle and threads. There's a cat over here. They were all the Lizzie Cates. Um, a lot of the little Santas. I only have one of these. So, um, this one right here. So that one, again, I'm going to share the wealth. So a lot of these patterns, they were a dollar. The little ones, even though they were packaged by themselves, they said two X a dollar. So when I went up there, I said, hey, these said two times a dollar, um, but they're not like stuck together. Oh yeah, we'll just give you two for a dollar. Great. And gray was half price. So all of the one dollars were 50 cents and all of the small ones were a quarter. <laughs> I think I spent $10 and 55 cents for all the patterns. So I was thrilled. My son, not so much, but I was thrilled. Um, this, there's a couple of the shepherd's bushes that I will keep. Shepherd's bush patterns just don't do a lot for me. So more for you guys, right? So this one is called the Goblins. I liked that one. There were a couple of Halloween, random Halloween ones. That one, this one. One Lonely Cricket collection. I like this guy. Um, my sister wanted this one. And then all of these are for you guys. So there's some little ones. There's another, there's another with a needle and thread. There's Shepherd's Bush. There's some of the stockings. One stocking, two stockings. Some little people. Um, a sheep on a hill. This one, uh, Santa pouch, you know, so all of those, I will gladly share the wealth. Boop, boop, boop. One per store. Father Christmas. Um, this is one that's not reprinted yet. 50 cents. <laughs> I just scared the cat. <laughs> um, so excited to have this one. So 
this needs to work into my plans. I need to do some ornaments for myself. I'm, I'm working on those teacher ornaments, but I haven't done anything small for myself yet. So these should be pretty good. They're all 68 by 31. So they're all nice and small. So that was my major haul. My $10.55 find. Um, and I never find anything in there. Usually I go into mine and it's like, you know, ancient, ancient magazines. Um, playing with the pencil. She's in her basket playing with the pencil. Hold on. How do I flip? No, she's looking at me like, yeah, go ahead and flip this. And as soon as you do, I don't see the flip button. I'll try and take a little video of her attack on the end because I'm done anyway. Um, hope you guys are having a good rest of your summer. Hope it's a little less human and sticky where you are. And that if anyone else has mother-in-law visits, they're going well and your house is spotless. Um, and I will see you guys, I'm guessing, in September, starting to the season, doing all the Halloween and the fall stitches. Um, until then, have a good afternoon, you guys. Bye.